sustainable economy. An economic system that meets the needs of its current members without compromising the prospects of future generations. A troubling picture is emerging of the impact of the human footprint on the Earth's living systems. Right now, with every step we take, we are destroying the world. The rubber in the soles of our shoes contains neurotoxins and carcinogens that are left behind in tiny amounts. But even a small harmful act, when repeated on a global scale, can become a tragedy. If you see a tragedy and you don't do anything about it, and your designer signaling your intentions, then you might as well have intended for the tragedy to occur. Because if you say, it's not part of my plan, then it's part of your de facto plan. It's the thing that's happening because you have no plan. And once you realize that you're strategically tragic, you realize that it's time to have a strategy of change. These architects, product designers, and corporate executives are looking for a way out of the environmental dilemmas facing their industries. They have come to a workshop led by chemist Michael Braungart and architect Bill McDonough, two pioneers in the movement to redesign the world. I, I like to think that design is the first signal of human intention. And I think we're all here because we have intentions. And I'd like to look at what they are and, um, and look at how I found myself in this position to work with Michael and to help develop this new uh, what's being called a paradigm. I, I, th I think, it, from a personal perspective, when my mother called me after the magazine article in Time magazine came out, and it said we had developed a unified theory that in demonstrable and practical ways was changing the design of the world. And she called up and said, what have you been doing? <laughs> and I've been working with Michael and a whole bunch of other people. That's what I've been doing. Their clients include major corporations with over half a trillion dollars in annual sales. Companies like Herman Miller Furniture, Nike, Design Techs, and the Ford Motor Company, where they have been commissioned to help lead the company's transformation to sustainability. Humankind is facing a deadline. Can we change our industrial world? Can we move fast enough to avoid catastrophe? Will our creativity be equal to the task? This is the story of a revolution. How Bill McDonough and Michael Braungart and the people and companies they work with are building the sustainable economy.